Trick number one involved nothing more than a metal ring, Bob's finger, and some uncomfortable prolonged eye contact. Ready? Yeah. What the heck was that? There's no hinge on here. Let me just try it. One, two. Okay, maybe there's... Oh, no. <laughs> So this is a trick that uses persistence of vision. We have build box toys that utilize persistence of vision. That's true. The coin spinner. You spin the coin and it looks like Saturn has rings, but really it's just a circle on one side and rings on the other. I'm literally just pushing my finger. So at one point, my pinky looks like that, but you don't see that. If you do it just right, one, two, three. Wow. Persistence of vision relies on the fact that your eyes can only send a limited number of visual pictures to the brain each second. Because the pinky bend happens so fast, there's a good chance your eyes never Never sent that part of the trick to your brain, which means your brain has to assume the ring just went through your finger, even though it knows that's really not possible. And that's how you can pull off this mind blowing trick like I do. Huh? Huh? Nate's laughing, so I don't think it worked. After maybe a bit more practice. Oh, dang it. Stop laughing.